Welcome to a fascinating scientific journey into the world of plants and their extraordinary compounds. The journey of well-being now. Have you ever wondered about the secret behind the ability of some plants to treat serious diseases? The answer lies in plant chemistry. We begin our journey by exploring one of the most significant groups, glycosides, where nature meets pharmacy. Have you ever imagined that deep, within every leaf, and at the core of every flower, there exist astonishing compounds that combine sugar and healing, tiny molecules capable of regulating heartbeats, relieving pain and even detoxifying the body. These chemical treasures are known as glycosides. Glycosides are organic plant compounds composed of two main parts, a sugar component known as the glycone and a non-sugar component, called the aglycone, which is the active part inside the body. When glycosides undergo hydrolysis by acids or enzymes, their components are released, allowing the active portion to perform its biological function according to the reaction. But why do plants produce these compounds in the first place? Glycosides give flowers their bright colors to attract pollinating insects, serve as natural defenses against bacteria and fungi, regulate osmotic balance within cells, and store nutritional reserves for the plant to use when needed. They represent a secret chemical language that plants use to protect themselves, express their beauty, and survive. What is even more remarkable is that these same compounds, originally serving the plant, have become pillars of modern therapeutic medicine. Cardiac glycosides like digitoxin from foxglove regulate heartbeat and strengthen its contraction. Flavonoid glycosides such as rutin from citrus, peels act as powerful antioxidants and protect arteries from hardening. And anthracinonic glycosides such as senna seeds from senna serve as natural laxatives when used correctly. From within plants came compounds that today save lives. Glycosides are not a single type, but a large family of compounds, each branch holding its own therapeutic secret. Cardiac glycosides regulate heart rhythm and increase contraction strength including digitoxin, detoxin, and silarigin, with a very narrow therapeutic range, requiring strict medical supervision, laxative glycosides such as senicides, aloin, and emodin, stimulate colon movement and relieve constipation, though excessive use may cause electrolyte imbalance and muscle weakness. Flavonoid glycosides like rutin and hesperidin strengthen blood vessels and prevent oxidation of harmful cholesterol. Anti-inflammatory glycosides, such as salicin from willow bark, relieve pain, reduce fever and combat inflammation, serving as the precursor to the famous aspirin. Serponin glycosides, like glycyrrhizin from licorice, act as natural expectorants and strong anti-inflammatory agents. Sulfur-containing glycosides, such as sinigrin and sinalbin, give mustard its sharp flavor and exhibit antibacterial and antifungal activity. And cyanogenic glycosides such as amygdalin and linamarin may release toxic cyanide gas upon breakdown, showing how nature can both heal and harm. From extraction to analysis, glycosides undergo precise stages. The plant is dried to preserve sensitive compounds, ground, then extracted using special solvents and purified using advanced techniques such as chromatography and spectroscopy. A long journey, yet essential to transform a green leaf under sunlight 
into a precise medicinal substance administered in carefully measured doses. Historically, Arab and Islamic physicians played a major role in the use of glycoside-containing plants. Ibn Sina, in the Canon of Medicine, described senna for constipation, aloe for wound treatment, colocynth as a purgative, and bitter almond for certain conditions, even without knowing the modern chemical structure. In the East, Chinese medicine developed formulations using ginseng rich in ginsenocides, licorice containing glycyrrhizine senna to stimulate the colon, and digitalis to regulate heartbeats with remarkable precision. With the advancement of medicinal chemistry during the 19th and 20th centuries, glycosides became essential pharmaceutical agents. Digoxin and digitoxin for heart failure, senocides from senna leaves as natural laxatives, salicin from willow bark as the ancestor of aspirin. But not every gift from nature is safe without limits. Plants like oleander are extremely toxic and can cause cardiac arrest. Colocynth may cause intestinal bleeding in high doses. And bitter almond releases cyanide when improperly used. Thus, precise dosing, proper storage, and awareness of side effects and drug interactions are crucial. Today, some of these plants are grown commercially, such as digitalis in Europe and America, Senna in Sudan and India, licorice in China and Spain, and ginseng under strict cultivation to prevent extinction. From the heart of nature to modern laboratories, from Ibn Sina to 21st century medicine, glycosides stand as evidence of human ingenuity in understanding the natural world. Small compounds with great power, capable of healing or harming, yet through science and knowledge, we can use them to extend life and uncover the deep secrets of nature. Thank you for watching this episode of our scientific series. Do not forget to support us by liking and subscribing, and stay tuned for the next episode of the journey of well-being. Wishing you health and peace.